All right, it's a new day. It's day two of my bikepacking journey across the Philippines. Today's adventure is a hike to Mount Mauyog, which is one of the most beautiful hikes here in Cebu. I've never been before, but always wanted to. And now it's just around the corner, so I've got an 11 kilometer bike ride to the trailhead. I've offloaded some of the panniers and some of the gear, so I've got a lighter load today, and I'll be returning here to sleep the night before continuing the journey. That's the beauty of bikepacking. You can make it up as you go. So I'm gonna head off this thunder and lightning and big storm clouds starting to roll in. So I'm a bit worried about how the day is gonna go, but here I am, let's go Mount Mauyog. Cheers. <laughs> oh, thank you. What is it? This is sweet potato. Oh. Sweet potato and banana leaf. Oh, taste it. thank you. <laughs> thank you. Wood wood, sweet potato, brown sugar. And this way we have Chinese wine. Yeah. Chinese wine called Kulafu. So I got stopped halfway, pouring rain. But I'm hanging out with these. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hanging out with these friendly guys with some bubud, some kulafu Chinese wine, waiting out the rain. Yeah. So after that huge thunderstorm came through, managed to ride out the time with those local guys. Had a few sips of Chinese wine and some sweet potato. And now I'm back on the road. I decided to push on because it cleared up quite nicely and I'm already halfway there. So I'm now heading another five kilometers to the trailhead of Mauyog. Sometimes when you're solo traveling, you don't have anyone to bounce ideas off. And right now I'm not sure if I should just be calling it a day. This hill is super steep. It started raining again. The clouds are back and it's starting to get a little bit later in the day, but I'm kind of all in person. So I'm just gonna at least make it to the trailhead and see what the story is up there. Well, the hiking section of my bikepacking trip around the Philippines is off to a bit of a slow start. I made it to the small village at the base of the trailhead and they said Mount Mauyog is closed. There was a landslide during the last typhoon and they haven't fixed it and they don't know when they will. So I'm just gonna ride back. It's a pretty steep 11 kilometer journey back. So fair day, 22 kilometers of riding. Uh, just to ride these roads. So uh, not the worst day out, but nice and wet, nice and steep and no hike, but pretty palm trees. Nice to explore some random spots. And uh, I guess tomorrow I'll just head to Toledo. Okay, change of plan. I rode back about a kilometer and I'm gonna see if I can access Mauyog from kind of a traverse from a little side peak. Um, this one isn't private property by the looks of it and I didn't want to go up close to the Brongai so I'm on a bit of a exploration in the middle of nowhere in Cebu. Wish me luck.
when the locals say the trail's closed, I don't really advise ever to go against that, but sometimes if you have a hunch it's raining, they look tired and can't really be belted going up, especially when the trail's overgrown like this. Sometimes side access and explore yourself. I feel it's not really hurting anybody and we'll see if there's any uh, landslide or fallen rocks that stop the trail in actual fact. But I've managed to uh, use a side access, a bit of uh, bushwhacking and made my way onto the actual trail about two thirds of the way up. So I'm almost at the summit now of Mauyok. So in the end, we made it up here to Mount Ma'ayug. I'm looking down on the town. Now, at the, hopefully the boys aren't looking up here at the guy they told there was a big landslide to. Um, there's two rocky points up here at the top. The, this is the first one. I'm going to head over to the second after. And uh, yeah, I don't know which way I'm going to go out because the way I came in was pretty crazy. I might just go out the official way and, and be on my way. So beautiful spot up here. It's like a rocky bird's nest. They call it a monolith, um, but yeah, pretty sweet spot to make it finally for the afternoon. I'm a bit lost. The funny thing is that I would have loved the guide on this hike, was happy to pay, happy to bring him along. Um, it's been super hard to find the trail up here been lost multiple times that's how it goes when you want the guide they're not there so I didn't make it to the second peak which is a shame because I think it's uh, much bigger and very beautiful but just got way too overgrown up there I got lost at least 10 times my body is beat so scratched up a lot of the plants up here are super sharp there's ants everywhere bleeding it's 4 30 sunsets at 6 I've still got probably a two hour ride home so this time I made the smart decision and now I'm heading down. Still super thick here even. But yeah, at least I'm on the trail so I'll try and shoot out unnoticed and head off back to my campsite. And that should be that. Slid out of a side entrance. Now I just have about a kilometer up this damn hill again to get back to my bike, which is hopefully chained up to a wooden fence. Uh, so fingers crossed on that one. Then just 11 kilometer ride home. And that'll be day two in the books. Bike still here. Sabu is two from two.